Here's everything that we learned about Stargate Origins in December 2017, coming up right after this. Hey everybody, I am Taylor and I'm the Stargate Guy, where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. Today we are looking at Stargate Origins and the new things that we have learned. If you have not seen the previous two episodes, I would recommend going and seeing what we learned in October and November before watching this one. First off, we do know the debut date. After months and months of waiting, we finally know when we're going to see Stargate Origins. Originally it was set to debut at the end of 2017, but now the date is official. It is going to be released on StargateCommand.co on February 15th, 2018. However, it is not clear if they are going to release just one episode a week or if they are going to release all 10 episodes and binge watch it. However, if you know about that, go ahead and comment in the section down below. We also know that it took them five weeks to actually film all of the episodes and we got a little bit more behind the scenes footage of to what happens on the set. And with that, we learned several other things, theory at the end of this video. We also got the new actual official teaser trailer for Stargate Origins and theories about what we saw in that at the end of this video as well. Editing can take as long as filming and sometimes even longer. So the director is still going to be hands-on with the editing area because that is when a lot of the storytelling comes out, not just with actors on a set. Now a lot of questions that I have heard on this channel are based around two different things. Are they going to open up the wormhole? And two, are there going to be aliens some Jaffa or something? Well, looking at the footage, now we get into theory time. Now, analyzing the different footages that they have given us, I believe that I can connect a form of story of what the episode and what the entire series is basically going to be about and how it's going to lay out. So, potential spoilers. Remember, this is just a theory. I'm not paid by Stargate Command. This is not an official Stargate Command thing. It's... It's me in a, in a puddle. We do know that the Langfords, when Catherine was about around 9 or 10, that they recovered the tombstones and the actual gate. However, they did not recover a DHD. Now, they were trying to decipher the symbols and the meaning of this stairway to heaven or gateway of the gods or however you want to interpret that Egyptian. This is probably where the notebook comes in of Professor Langford keeping notes down and writing the symbols in ink on a little notebook. Uh, it's a research journal. It's standard practice with archaeology. Now the Nazis headed up by the SS is in Egypt and in Giza and, you know, all the fun deserty places trying to look for ancient artifacts and things that could help substantiate the Aryan claim of dominance and looking for some awesome theoretical relics as well. There's a Crash for the Grail and, you know, there's some interesting World War II SS history going on there. Just... Just look it up, do the research, this show isn't about that. Or you could just roll watch Raiders of the Lost Ark and you'll get a general gist of it, although there wasn't a lot of face melting in actual history. Now, most likely, the Nazis had heard about the Stargate and of the Gateway to Heaven, or the Doorway to Heaven, well, however you want to interpret it, and they came in to take this artifact from the Linkfords, and they believed that there was more to the story, and they take Professor Linkford hostage, but his daughter gets away, and the daughter comes in contact with a British army officer and his servant and basically convinces them to come along with me and find out what happened to my father. And when they get back to the warehouse where the Langfords call home, Professor Langford is gone as well as some key pieces of information that he was working on about the Stargate. Now the Nazis are basically extorting Professor Langford to try to recover some more artifacts uh, related to the Stargate, hoping and thinking that this will be something that the Third Reich can use in their favor. Professor Langford is persuaded to basically follow his research down and the Nazis and him go to a hidden temple where the Guawod hung out several thousand years ago that has not been really discovered by archaeologists yet. Meanwhile, Catherine Langford finds a British army officer and his servant and basically convinces them to go help her find her father and in the meantime find out more about the Stargate and its origins. Huh? They all end up meeting up in that tomb temple thing after having some wonderful adventures with natives and all sorts of crazy shenanigans including someone kissing and yeah. They meet up and fight the Nazis in this temple, and some of them have to work together in order to not die. 
And in this tomb, they find the DHD. And the Nazis took with them the Stargate, or the DHD and the Stargate got put together somehow. Because for a few seconds, the editors of the behind the scenes footage messed up. And we saw one piece of key information that lets us know the answer to, is the Stargate going to get turned on? The answer is yes. And I have come to that conclusion because of this one or two second clip. Ready? That wasn't a lot. And in the background of the character shooting a machine gun, we see the Stargate. And what is behind the Stargate? A green screen. And what is a green screen used for? Well, let me show you. That. As well as with the way that they have done lighting in that scene, it is very possible, nay, probable, nay, I am willing to bet dollars to donuts that the Nazis and the Lankfords make the first connection with the Stargate and the DHD. Now we know eventually that the Stargate will arrive back in American hands and the DHD goes with the Nazis and gets lost to the Russians down the line. Therefore, we know that neither party really kills each other. They merely wound each other. Maybe the Brit dies, maybe the servant dies, and we have a touching moment. But in the end, the Lankfords get the gate and the DHD goes to the Nazis. And Professor Langford convinces the Air Force to try to open the gate again because obviously if the Nazis got it to work, the Americans wanted it to work so that they could kick the Nazis butt. However, we will find out if I am right or if I am wrong starting February 15th, 2018. However, I'm willing to bet you that I'm right about what the general plot of the Stargate Origins is and whether or not we turn on the gate. And if you like this update and this theory, go ahead and subscribe. Great Stargate content is coming out every week. And you can click right here for another Stargate Origins update, or you can click right here for some more Stargate action. And until next time, I'll see you on the other side.